struggle to find ways to get all of their students to and from school amid this shortage of bus drivers. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Amy Hockert. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. The situation so desperate for Robbinsdale area schools that the district has canceled routes and they're asking parents to prepare for alternatives for the rest of the school year. And tonight, Fox 9's Bab Santos has more on how a local busing company founded by a Somali refugee is trying to help fix the problem. This school year, the most sought after theme isn't the newest backpack or pair of shoes. I usually do in the morning and then I do my other stuff, come back right in the afternoon. It's simply having a bus driver. A school bus driver is one of the most important people that we have in our lives, you know, taking care of our kids. Across the state, school districts continue to suffer from a shortage of drivers, forcing many to cut bus routes. Right now, it's, it's a bit scary. Created three years ago and growing quickly in St. Anthony. Our philosophy here is not to overpromise and under deliver. The coherent bus company is trying to fill some of those holes. It is a bit stressful, but we always seem to manage it. CEO Sahat Guled has managed to tie down over 50 drivers to get kids to and from charter schools in the Twin Cities. Right now we're doing about 128 routes a day uh, with multiple different schools. Doing it by offering signing bonuses and a starting pay of $23 to $25 an hour while covering the cost of getting a commercial driver's license. What we're doing right now is working and we're just going to continue what we're doing. They're also relying heavily on word of mouth and referrals. But at times, it's an uphill battle. When I have been talking to drivers and, you know, people that are in this industry, they feel like school bus companies haven't been paying them enough. Much bigger companies have been, you know, promising bigger compensation and, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot more than what we could offer. A sign of the times, now even the CEO of this company gets behind the wheel from time to time. If drivers call in sick or, like, if they say, oh, I have an appointment today, I literally get headaches. Oh my God, what do I do? And Fox 9's Bab Santos joining us live now. And so Bab's two districts that we've done some previous reporting on hit hard by this shortage of drivers. Stillwater Public Schools and Minneapolis Public Schools. Are they doing any better at this point? Well, Kelsey, first I want to point out neither of these school districts has a relationship with the Coherent Busing Company. We reached out to both today and they both are in a very uh, tough situation with the number of drivers still down significantly from a normal year. But some good news in Minneapolis, they've been able to cut the number of routes they have to cut each day by about 80%, and they're doing that by consolidating the routes. Back to you. All right, a little bit of good news. Thank you, Babs.